Hey DP, it's Colleen Murphy coming at you live from the Little Theater. And it's Nate Laura here. Hold on to your Tuesday morning snacks because DP News starts now. Thanks for everybody who came and bought your shirts and helped make it a really great activity. Remember to wear those new tie-dye shirts to the game tomorrow night. Our boys basketball will be playing our rival, Santa Barbara, on our home court, so be sure to bring out the spirit. So Tyler, where are you going to be this Wednesday, 7 o'clock? I'll be at Sovine Gym watching basketball take down Santa Barbara. Boys Varsity Basketball, 7 o'clock, home, against Santa Barbara. This is Santa Barbara, man. Be there. <laughs> Get rowdy. Boy, that means that we have three massive events happening tomorrow night here at DP. In the EPAC, in the EPAC I also heard that the Instrumental Music Program is performing holiday hits, so come see, that, see them at 7 p.m. The concert is open to everybody, and a $5 donation is suggested. That's right, and the third event happening tonight is our student-written, produced, and directed holiday package sketch comedy show. Last night was really great. It, we, it was great to be on stage and hear everybody laugh, and you have more chances to see it. There are still tickets for tonight's show and tomorrow's show, so please come out and enjoy all these wonderful actors and male ballets. And to top it all off, there will be food trucks up by the EPAC providing dinner for all those groups. The Burger Bus, Georgia Smokehouse, and more will be cooking up some delicious eats for everybody. Speaking of food, today marks the beginning of the canned food drive for the Unity Shop. Please be as generous as you can and come and donate your SpaghettiOs, your peaches, your boxed foods, your berry cobbler in the can. I'm not quite sure what, but you can bring it. Penny drivers to only heat up, so here are your top 15 leading classes. This Friday, Santa will be here in the Greek. Be sure to come out and get, you'll get a chance to sit on Santa's lap and receive some nice gifts from the big man himself. Tomorrow is also the Econ Fair. This is a great chance to pick up things that you like for only a few bucks. So bring your wallets and get some great, great last minute gifts. For the Econ Fair, we wanted to sell something that would help a good cause. We decided to design and make t-shirts to help breast cancer awareness. We're selling them for $7. We're donating some of the proceeds to the Santa Barbara Research Center. Please buy your shirts and support a good cause. I get these beanies in the econ fair. Are you unlike me because you're artistic in any way, shape, or form? Well, do we have news for you. Our local color art and literary magazine is looking for submissions for their 2014 issue. Go to dpnews.org for more info on how to submit, or you can submit art pieces in T5. We're also wishing a very, very happy birthday to Cami Bollinger. Happy 16th birthday, Cami. Well, DP, that's all we have for you here. I'll see you later, and here's sports. Good morning to us, Pueblo High School. This is Nick Zoldan with your sports report. On Friday, both of our basketball teams lost, but on Saturday, our boys' basketball team won against forgetting 42 to 39. On yesterday, our girls basketball team won also against the Rigetti Warriors 49 to 40. 
JB Girls Water Polo came in first in the tournament against Santa Barbara at Santa Barbara against the Dons and multiple teams. Great job, ladies. Number one. Girls Basketball has a big week this week, hosting the Santa Barbara County Challenge Tournament. Today, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you want to see our girls basketball win on the weekdays, come over at 4 p.m. If you want to see them win on Saturday, come over at 11 a.m. sharp. Our boys soccer also has a game against Wyoming at 3.15 today. If you are interested in any spring sports, tryouts will be after break. Have a great day, DP. This is Nick Sultan signing off.